Why have LeBron's bald head in there? What? So, yeah, the DNC started yesterday, and it was bewildering, to say the least, as some people described it as a 3 a.m. infomercial with less appeal. Some people described it as boring, unwatchable. I truly wondered if someone was genuinely watching it or was only forced to do so to comment on it, as of course many prominent Democrats pre-recorded speeches and played videos. The highlight, of course, being Michelle Obama, you know, the lady that worked with, promoted, and of course called Harvey Weinstein a wonderful human being. Yeah, and that was only the first night. There's still many to go. Welcome back, beautiful and amazing human beings. This is Zukradowski of We Are Change the Org. We have to get into a lot of things today. Specifically, we are going to talk about the virtual signaling pandering pardon trust me there's a lot of things to criticize there we're also going to be talking about the paradox of how residents in wuhan are freer than most americans right now as well as new shocking statements by bill gates that should leave a lot of people very skeptical of him to say the least. All of this on a non-partisan independent media channel that of course is heavily censored, shadow banned, and 100% demonetized. And that's why we can't thank you enough for supporting independent media by doing a one-time donation or even just donating $5 a month to keep us alive and well. Your support is more important than ever. And you can support us in many ways on wearechange.org, whether through PayPal, through your credit cards, through cryptocurrencies, through physical mail, whatever it may be, even ways without spending a dime, check out the website and see what you're comfortable giving, as there are many ways, even without spending a dime, that you could help contribute to this independent media operation. Now, yesterday, we got notice from the White House that U.S. President Donald Trump was going to pardon a very important person. Who was this going to be? Since, of course, there are countless of innocent people behind bars for victimless crimes for political reasons. So many people behind bars without freedom for all the wrong reasons. Who will Donald Trump act to save and relinquish from the injustice system? Absolutely no one. Um, yeah, literally. He made a symbolic virtual signaling pander move to try to get women to vote for him by pardoning female suffrage leader Susan B. Anthony, who of course is no longer with us. A symbolic pardon that left a bad taste in many people's mouths because of the clear number of individuals who are locked up for all the wrong reasons. People like Edward Snowden, Julian Assange, Ross Ulbricht, and I can keep going on and on and on. And he teased and got everyone excited that he was actually going to do something amazing and then absolutely ended up doing nothing at all except trying to win brownie points for himself in a self-grandizing, selfish move. But hey, at least uh, the Trump 2020 t-shirts we made are uh, a little bit more prophetic that by the way we just released on our teespring stores which is also available in the description down below so yeah just as self-grandizing the democrats are the republicans are not far behind as yesterday we saw an extremely hypocritical display by millionaire new york governor andrew como who gave a speech at the dnc about the Conholio sickness. Again, we can't actually say the name of the, the sickness here on YouTube, by the way, so we're just going to call it the Conholio sickness. And if there ever was anyone giving a speech about the Conholio sickness, it definitely shouldn't be the guy that caused the most amount of human suffering and death in his state because of his order sending sick patients back to nursing homes. Nursing homes that accounted for the majority of fatalities with the Conholio sickness, where sicknesses knowingly spread like wildfire and democratic governors knowingly knew this and still ordered sick patients to be sent there. And now, to add insult to injury, Andrew Cuomo is now writing a book about leadership 
and the Conholio sickness. I'm not, I'm not joking you. The state that was most severely ravaged out of all the United States, the state that most poorly mishandled this entire situation, a state that, that by the way, because of the lockdown orders, not because of the Conholio sickness, we have to kind of understand what happened here. It was because of government that things got locked down, which is now creating massive poverty, massive crime, massive lawlessness, as of course, the politicians support protests in the street, but not businesses being open. New York is becoming more and more of a failed state as shootings have gone up 82% in New York City. The city is $9 billion in debt as the city was spending nearly $200 on thousands of homeless people to live in plush hotels and more idiotic, stupid moves that have utterly eviscerated the previously one of America's top cities, which is literally left in the rumbles of bad government decision making. And now we're going to be lectured by this douche flute of a governor about his great leadership during that time, which is absolutely the epitome of degenerate hypocrisy. And again, we have to understand this, that when it comes to the Conholio sickness, what matters most is the government reactions to it. We've seen countries, we've seen states deal with this in a totally different way and not face the total devastation that others have. Specifically, other places where politicians are taking advantage of the Conholio sickness in order to grab more power and to destroy any freedom left for their own insane Orwellian dreams. Again, look what is happening in Australia, by the way. Police are preparing to launch their aerial arsenal as part of a crackdown on COVID rule breakers. High-powered drones will be used to find people not wearing masks and cars too far from home. Sky-high surveillance as we battle to control COVID. You know, just Big Brother surveillance drones watching your every move to make sure you're not walking in a park by yourself without a freaking face covering or even daring to travel in another state in your own country again the evisceration of the economy there and people's livelihoods that is happening all throughout the world is astounding in new zealand they're taking another step forward by literally postponing the elections a move that of course should be highly criticized but it seems like the mainstream media is cheering it on when one of their favorite gun grabbing politicians does it and, of course, decrying when another politician they don't like suggests it. But of all of this madness, we have to understand here is that government officials, the mainstream media, the quote experts, haven't been honest with us at all. A lot of what's happening is agenda driven and has absolutely nothing to do with your safety and security. Again, look at what happened with Australia. New Zealand, the United States, especially in the democratic heavy states, and compare that to the approach that Japan had, and of course also Sweden had, with no lockdowns, no shutdowns of the economy, and they fared far better than of course the countries that are going to be dealing with huge economic devastation and extreme poverty coming soon because of it. And one of the biggest proponents of, of lockdowns, one of the biggest representatives of this conholio sickness is of course the man that the mainstream media tell you to believe and that is billionaire Bill Gates that of course is helping direct a lot of the discourse surrounding the conholio sickness. And he just came out in another interview talking about a range of issues. And, and it's very strange. Whatever this man says is, is gospel to the mainstream media that doesn't even dare question it. They regurgitate his policies, his talking points, and never really question him on important issues. And with his latest interview that he did with Bloomberg Newsweek, when he was asked about HCQ, he had this to say, quote, there are a lot of good therapeutic drugs coming that are proven to work without the severe side effects. HCQ, the very cheap pill that has been around for decades, been given to pregnant women, been given to children, and actually has a lot less side effects than aspirin, has been deemed something that caused severe side effects. Again, a lot of the studies here that are surrounding this are usually fudged or usually fixed. One of the studies gave a very sick ill patients extremely high dosages 
of HCQ, which you're not supposed to do. The people who conducted those studies should be fined, if not in prison, in my opinion. There are some studies showing that there are promising results with HCQ. Again, we don't claim to know the solution or the answer to the conholio sickness, but this is a disgenuous lie. The scientific data, the facts specifically show this, and this man is lying. Boldface got caught with his pants down, lying. Now, why would Bill Gates lie about a very cheap, readily available pill with very little side effects that is showing promising results? Well, I'm going to leave that question up to you. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. There's a lot of hypotheses. There's a lot of theories out there, and I'm curious, where do you stand and what do you think? But one thing that is sure is that Bill Gates is definitely not telling us the truth. What's the bigger agenda from one of the world's richest human beings? Well, we'll see as things play out. But again, when you look at other countries, specifically Japan, specifically Sweden, and their handling of this entire situation, you see how they're living life and how some people in New York City are forced to live, you really should start having some very serious questions about government. I mean, even in China, the land of forced sterilizations, mandatory contraception, where a new report came out that the Chinese government was conducting late stage abortions and termination of newborns with the Uyghur Muslims, a place that, by the way, many corporations and entertainment organizations like the NBA still work hand in hand with. Even in Orwellian places like China, specifically Wuhan, the epicenter of this, people are more free there than they are in most places in the United States as dramatic pictures and videos are coming out from Wuhan showing thousands of people at a music concert that was held in a swimming pool. Yes, these are images and photos coming from Wuhan right now. And to think that the people of Wuhan are more freer than in the supposed land of the free you really have to start asking yourself, what is going on here? And guess what? These Loon Tunes are this one. They're not here to help you. You can only help yourself. And the best way you could do that is to inform yourself, empower yourself with knowledge and information to make the right moves in your particular life. No one else is going to do this for you, but you. If you found this video helpful, share it with your friends and family members. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And this is why Love you guys. Stay tuned for more here on wearechange.org.